How you doing fam bam? This is Chris Musa here with another video about ASUS Aura and IQ working together. As you know, I made a prior video on this, but that's a little bit outdated. And of course, I've seen all the comments and requests from you guys that want to see a newer video on this. And this is exactly that. I'm going to show you exactly how you can integrate your ASUS RGBs with IQ. And it's really all not too difficult. And all you have to do is follow these very simple steps. Make sure you stay tuned and watch this whole video to pick up the whole concept. And of course, if any kind of issues do come up, make sure you put it down in the comments down below and I will help you the best that I can. If you find this content very useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you want to join the big wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit that subscribe button for more. And let's get straight to it because I know you guys just want to have your RGBs working in perfect harmony. And that's exactly what we're about to do. Let's hope we can make this dream come true. So guys, I'm on Casera's official website and it's just to forewarn you to let you know what kind of issues you may run into if you have an ASUS motherboard that you are installing IQ to make these RGBs work in harmony because they also mention if your motherboard has an analog 12 volt RGB header, you can also use IQ to control the lighting of the devices attached to the header. They do not mention if you have 5 volt ARGB, if it will work or if it will not work. And they don't mention it for good cause because that's still more of an experimental phase. Usually if you have an ASUS motherboard, they will automatically install Armory Crate on your system. Sometimes you may have disabled it in the BIOS, but that's okay. If you don't have ASUS Armory Crate, I'll show you exactly how you can get it. All you have to do is go in the description box down below. And if you click on that link, you should come on a website that looks like this. And what Armory Crate really is, it integrates Aura Sync, easy device configuration, all everything that you're used to having with ASUS when it comes with their software, their Sonic software, Everything is all embedded into one. Now, all you have to do is click this download link and it'll take you into the driver and tools. Now, this is product support in general, just for Armory Crate itself. So you don't have to worry about it being motherboard specific because it will detect your motherboard. Now it's gonna ask you to select your OS. Make sure you click Windows 10, 64-bit and make sure you don't download this first utility of Armory Crate. The reason being is if you look really closely, this is just the uninstall tool because they assume that you already have Armory Crate. But because if you don't, you just click show all. And on the bottom here, you'll see 1.31 megabytes. The newest version that you see is January 15, 2021, and you're gonna to wanna to download it. Now, before you download it, make sure you have WinZip or WinRare installed into your system. If you don't have WinZip or WinRare installed in your system, make sure you check down the link down below and I will give you the link on where you can install it. So all you have to do is, is hit download and once it downloads, you just click it open and you'll see Army Crate Installer 3.0.9.0. So you're gonna open this up and it will ask you for administration rights to install it. You click yes. And as you can see, you'll come up with the screen. It's called Armory Crate Installer. Now this is where you're given an option to install Armory Crate, install Aura Creator, or install Armory Crate and Aura Creator. What I would recommend installing is just install Armory Crate because install Aura Creator is just to customize your RGBs in your system. Now. This is to install Armory Crate and Aura all together. Now, when you click start, you'll notice it automatically install Aura Creator with it as well. So it doesn't matter if you install it separately, that doesn't really matter too much. And when you finish installing this, you just wanna make sure that you don't open it. And the reason being is because you'll have a conflict between both softwares, one software, will mainly control everything, which will be IQ. So once Armory Crate is installed, don't bother opening it. All right, perfect, it's completely done. You don't wanna bother watching Armory Crate. Click later, 
Now we want to download IQ. Make sure you go down in the description box down below and I have the link for IQ as well. So when you go to IQ, it's going to look something like this. All you have to do is hit download now and it will be downloading immediately for you. So once it's downloaded, just open up the file. It's going to ask you for administration rights and you're going to click yes. Click OK to whatever language that you choose. Now, of course, this is the newest version, which is 3.37.140 currently. I accept this agreement. You can look over at the end user license agreement. And this is the installation folder of where it will go. And now you just let it install. So you don't have to start Corsair IQ right away. What I would recommend doing is just to restart your PC. What you can do is hit window X, press the arrow up key, press it again, go to hit the right arrow and then go to restart or you can just shut down completely and then start it up yourself. So we'll be right back after that. Okay, so once you're back, you're gonna wanna hit IQ. And once you open up IQ, to look something like this. Now, as you can see, the ASUS motherboard popped up. And from here, you could actually adjust all the lighting effects. So in order to control the lighting on your ASUS motherboard, you just hit lighting effects. And right now, as you can see your motherboard, it's probably changing random colors because it's automatically on random colors and it's on color shift. Uh, different settings such as if I went to strobing, I changed alternating to strobing to white and purple, let's say. And now you can take a look at your motherboard and you can actually see it strobing to those different colors. Now, the only thing is that my RAM is not really detected through IQ. It is incompatible because of course it is not Corsair's RAM. In my opinion, they just want you to get some Corsair RAM so that way you can make it compatible with their software. I feel that ASUS's motherboard only works directly with the RGBs on your motherboard. And I do recommend another software if you haven't checked out my other RGB content. Make sure you do in this card right above me. Now, of course, you could do different modes. For example, let's give a shot to let's say color shift. And now when you change it over to color shift, you can see it actually change different colors under random colors. Now you could actually adjust the speed. If you're wondering about my front case bands, they're actually from Corsair. And I actually could set that setting up right now to say if I wanted to change it to color shift as well, it will follow the same colors as the motherboard. Now, of course, if I change it to say like the rain, let's make the alternating colors red and blue. And now I want to change my Corsair fans to say red and blue under rain. Now you have them working together in harmony. I hope you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure you don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, to join the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more PC tech related stuff because we love to talk about it here. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my Twitter handle right here. And guys, what do you think of Corsair IQ and ASUS's integration? Do you like it or would you rather use a different RGB software? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.